Remember when life was simple before October and shit just worked? You see the power cord sitting right there? Yeah. So the way I found out there was a problem <laughs> was not in the traditional manner. This was interesting. Now a long time ago I made a video on how to make a power only USB cord and that is plugged into the back of this system which runs all the way over here and up to the USB LED name badge. So the other day the WIF and I were sitting having tea time and I happened to glance over this way and way off in the distance through the railing you can see said USB LED name badge. Now the computer was off through this entire thing but yet I saw this flashing. Now one thing you need to realize is that this is supposed to have a battery in it but because of how long ago I bought this thing and maybe didn't keep it charged or something the battery had gone bad and it wouldn't even charge or power up I opened it and removed said battery I don't remember if there was a throwback Thursday on that or not uh, if there is one and it was posted already I forgot and if not, then it hasn't been posted yet, or maybe I never recorded it and I don't remember. Anywho, um, this was flashing. And why? Well, I came over here, and the power light was going on and off, on and off, on and off, on and off. Not a good thing at all. And it's October. I don't know when you're watching this, it's probably after October, but... This was an October fail. I think it's just the power supply. Now remember I had to put a power supply in this thing and all the power supplies I had at the time were of dubious quality and may or may not have worked. So I'm going to try to plug this in one last time. It's been unplugged for several days and we'll see what happens. Okay, it's plugged in. Power button nothing, but there's a mains switch, which is a clear indication that this thing is not an original supply. I don't know if it was on or off, so I can't tell you, but we'll try it again, and it's completely, totally dead. So now, I have to pull all this shit out. This thing is a pain in the dick to disconnect, but got to work on it, got to fix it. Not that anybody's coming over, but... I don't want to leave things dead. Oh, and just to add insult to injury on the whole thing of this thing failing, which I'm hoping is just a power supply. If not, it's. I think this might be a suitable replacement, but we'll, we'll see. Uh, that'll be too much work. As a side effect of that, to add insult to injury, this USB name badge lost its information. It's stored in NVRAM. I don't know how the fuck it did that, just like too many power cycles, it wiped it out or something. It fucked it up completely and it said no content. Much like the videos on this channel. Uh, anyway, that's what it said, and <laughs> I was able to fortunately reprogram it. Uh, that is out of the scope of this video, I don't know if I'll touch upon it later, but... Anyway, let me see if I can get this thing out of here, and... Um, We'll hook it up on the freezer and see what the hell is going on. Okay, first things third. It's disconnected and up here. I don't have a screen or keyboard or any other good shit hooked up yet. Power cord is plugged in. The main switch is off. Let's turn it on. I don't know if this board is supposed to have a little power or flea light at all. Um, if it does have one, I don't see it. Oh, it does. Look. There it is. Seems a bit dim. Nothing when I hit the fucking power button. Shit. All right. Let's wiggle the connectors. Make sure they're in. Where's the other one plugged in over here? Yeah, they're certainly in there. I don't see any bulging caps. Don't turn on. Okay, great. So let me go conjure up a power supply. Before I do that, actually, it would be a good idea to unplug the hard drive 
and the optical drive and maybe any other peripheral such as this USB thing for the keyboard, the wireless thing for the keyboard. Uh, it would be a good idea to do that. That connector's tight. Uh, let me see if they'll come out. Because sometimes a failing drive can bring down the entire system. Mm, that one's tight. Bastard. Bastard, bastard. Fucking hell, that hurts. Oh, it just doesn't want to move. All right, give me a minute. Okay, there. Now, this does not have a floppy drive. That would be another thing to disconnect. We'll plug it back in. Oh, uh-oh. I got a light. I thought I felt some air. Maybe you heard the arcing in the IEC connector. But no, still dead. Let me wiggle that again and see if the fan will twitch. Yeah, look. I don't know if you can see the... Yeah, saw that light? So, there is signs of life. The fan just twitched again. Okay, let's see what I have in the way of shitty power supplies. I have these. Ah, I don't know if I want to try them. Because I kind of want to keep the system in service. This has no supply, so we'll leave it out of there. I think what I'm actually going to do, because one of this, this one in particular may have been bad and killed the mainboard in the old system that used to live over here. I don't want to blow up this system if I can get away with a cheap, easy, quick repair. So I'm going to get a brand new supply. Here is a brand new Kentec power supply, courtesy of Lexmark's 567 from like last Christmas. Brand new, everything good. Don't have to worry about proprietary anything in the case because it just fits a regular ATX supply. So I'm going to go rip the power connectors out, plug these in, and we'll give it a smoke test. Okay, I just have it plugged in, just power to the motherboard. That's all we need. And everything's good. I have not thrown the main switch. So here we go with the UXW Bill smoke test. Okay, we got a green light and everything flicked for a moment. Let's see. Sounds good. No drives are connected. System is probably screaming its head off with errors. There we go. We're live. Probably that was a no bootable device found. It's running. That's all it was. Just a bad power supply. So we'll go ahead and slam this thing in there and see what happens. I forgot to mention, did you notice how earlier on in the video when I was showing the USB name badge and I said how it was flashing and this thing wasn't turning on and I immediately said power supply and that was before I ever even disconnected the system and put it up here to actually test my theory? That's right folks, that's how good I am. Granted this was a very simple, simple problem. And that is the most logical thing to try, is the power supply. But even so, the diagnosis was that quick. It was fucking instant. And that was that. Alright, now we'll get the supply in. Keyboard in. Now see. Screen reader. Power cord. El Plugo. Throw the main switch. Here's the handiwork. It's a 400 watt. I don't know if you just heard that little zink. I think that's the hard drive. So probably that got compromised because I kept hearing when it was going on and off. Zink, 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 zink. So yeah, that's just nice. Anyway, everything's plugged in, hooked up. Drive spun, we got post. 
I like that. <laughs> She's booting, that's it. Bingo Bango. The Vista looking loading screen is because for some reason Windows 7 doesn't quite drive with the video chipset for the onboard video, which is more than enough for what I need for this system. It's a nice noisy hard drive. You don't hear that too often anymore. Remember where you could actually hear that your computer was working? We're going into windows. Something happened. There we go. Bingo bango! I love that kind. And it's somewhat noisier than before. Still nice and quiet. That certainly works. Never hear it, you know, tucked away in there. Got its network connection. And in a minute or so, it should start the fail blog. So I will come back when that happens. Here we go. Reading pictures. Off the network, of course. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, there's some flashy lights. That works. Boy, that's got like a nice jet engine coming out of it now. There we go. Fail blog. I love that kind. Pulling pictures over the networks. It just turns on now, it works and stuff. Yeah. Cat shit. Yep, October indeed is cat shit. Ah, lovely. Okay, great. It works. So, the moral of the story here is to never jump to conclusions about what a particular problem with anything that you're working on is. Whether it be a computer, or other electronic device, or a car, or a mechanical device, or anything of that nature. Something that's broken could be your dishwasher, washing machine, refrigerator. Don't jump to conclusions. Test first. That way you know what the problem is. And you can replace just the bad part. Now, I was lucky in the sense that I had a replacement power supply on hand, but, you know, I'm that kind of guy, so I would. So this, this way the repair just gets done, and that's that. But, you know, what I did is I came up with a theory as far as why this wasn't working, and then I tested my theory, and if I was wrong, then I would explore further and test yet another theory. Basically, working on computers is pretty simple. You need experience, but it's pretty simple. It's guess and check. I guess it was the power supply. I checked, and it was the power supply. I replaced the power supply, and now you can get baked at work. So thank you for watching. Make sure you click like. Make sure you click subscribe, and take care. We'll bake you next time. Bye-bye.